Welcome back for another VeChain Prize prediction analysis and in this video I will be giving you the next prize action to expect here on the VeChain chart in the next coming hours and before I do so show some love by first giving this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and also check out the channel membership and at the time of this recording, VeChain continues to hold below the 20-day MA here on the 4-hour chart, which is now acting as resistance for us to continue gearing up. We also continue to hold above our key area of support at around the 0.0179 dollar mark, which is now acting as support for us to continue gearing up. And in case in the next coming hours we continue seeing further weakness on the charts, then I'm expecting that key area of support to hold and give us another push to the upper side as we bounce off that key area of support. And on the worst case scenario, in case we lose that key area of support and maybe get a retest, then we can expect further weakness to the next significant areas of support at around the 0.017 dollar mark. VeChain continues to also obey the ADO12 structures and zooming out on the charts to give you my ADO12 analysis, you can see that after getting our bear market lows at around the 0.013 dollar mark, we saw this massive push to the upper side in a 5 wave structure having the wave 5 giving us a high above the 0.021 dollar mark, completing the formation of this wave 1 to the upper side. Then we started a corrective structure in the formation of this wave 2 into the minimum target areas highlighted on the charts using this blue target area, an area that we have now fully maximized and there are high chances that we now have a low in place for the second wave and whatever we are seeing at the moment is the start of an impulse in the formation of this wave 3 to the upper side. And because of the impulsiveness in the formation of that wave 3, I'm expecting to see a micro edit wave count within the formation of that wave 3. And on the charts, you can now see that I'm terming this as the formation of this wave 1. Then we saw a pullback in the formation of this wave 2. And what we have at the moment is the start of an impulse in the formation of this wave 3. And in my past videos, I have been giving you target areas for the third wave by connecting the trend-based Fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1, then dragging the Fibs to the low of the second wave, giving me a minimum target area at the Fib level 1.618, and that is at around the 0.02211 dollar mark. And that is the minimum that we can expect VeChain to do in the formation of that wave 3. But for that to play out, we need to continue holding above support at around the 0.01798 dollar mark. Because as long as we are holding above it, we can expect another bounce back to the upper side. And I have said to you that on the worst case scenario, in case we lose that significant area of support, then expect further pullback back into this blue target area. Maybe get one more new low in the formation of this wave 2 before we can get impulsive once more in the formation of that wave 3. Then expect a wave 4 and then a wave 5 to the upper side. So that, that is what I'm expecting here on the VeChain chart on the short term and also on the long term. And I hope that video was of much help to you.